Oh, yeah. I got a little four second clip. Uh, little idiot. Uh, he who always, like I said, he ran uh, down the steps, soon as I, you know, again, entry, exit. I mean, we telling these people, we know y'all code words, entry, exit. All that shit. So he, the little four second clip, the little same little sort of, he comes, you know, after uh, I recorded the idiot at the gang uh, gas station. You know, just telling on themselves, using words that I said that, that really most people hadn't talked about for decades. So, ain't no, and plus he's young as fuck. He's a young gang stalk, so I know he doesn't care or even know, or if he did, you know, it's not something that's on his mind. So, he he brought up shit. It's, there's no way. Like I said, it's like, a, it's like a, to me, and it's not entrapment. It's just because I'm, I'm not a law enforcement, you know, so I'm just a law by law citizen, regular citizen. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, like I said, you lead little shit that, and they wouldn't know to say unless they were spying on you. And like I said, again, not only that, they're so young and stupid. Not just young, because when I was young, I wasn't that stupid. I would have been, I would like I said, I been, no, wait a minute. That's what, you know, you, you know. They're like, wait a minute. They, the only way I would know that was if I was listening, you know, or something. It's just like if you was little and you heard overheard something. But it's like, no, you can't say anything because they didn't know I was listening. To them, there's no way to say it. Without, you know, they go to they go to know, you know, because they only told one person. So it, it, they just like they, they they I don't know that what what how are these kids that fucking stupid? It can't be because in the past we weren't kids weren't that stupid. Stupid, just niggas is just stupid, and I I know motherfuckers uh somehow, but it's like you can't make people stupid i don't think how can you make people stupid even with social programming social engineering or whatever you call it so the celebrities you know i, I don't care it doesn't make you that damn stupid the snitch on yourself and i don't mean the you know how snitching has become a, a little cute word that people use all even you know co-workers you know even just people nowhere near real crimes but yeah, oh, you get snitching you know like tattletale no snitching like i said i've known people that really got snitched on and they did their time in federal prison you know and they were not mad at the person who snitched well i don't know what happened with the person who snitched on them but you know, when you ask asking, like, what's happening? When you find out they finna do some time, what happened? You know, oh, I just got snitched on. Literally snitched on. Not not the little, the way they, you know, these, these weak ass niggas faking shit out here in the streets, fake as fuck. You know, just think everything, because every weed, everybody smokes weed and, and it shit, okay, yeah, I'd say it should be legal. It's a waste of time and money of our resources to be policing that shit and like i said you created all these situations with the drug cartels making them millionaires and billionaires in 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 another country with our money because it wouldn't they wouldn't have had all that money if that shit wasn't illegal so the cartels wouldn't have that much money because the weed wouldn't cost as much because the 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 reason it's so high is because of the chances they have to take to get it here. They have to smuggle it. And each smuggler is taking chances, going to prison, this and that. Then the dealers, and once it gets here, they have to pay such a high price to buy the quantity to distribute it. And they get a distributing case. So they take it out. So that's why a little piece of dime is $10. But if it was legal... It'd be way cheaper, and they'd have to, you know, somebody would have to go, you know, do all the proper licenses, not just paying tax. They would have to learn the proper licenses to be a distributor of legal weed. And so you take up all the danger, the shooting up, shooting up each other, you know, and, and, and I'm talking about in our cities for drug territory. You get rid of all that shit, and you get rid of all the fakes 
you know, who think smoking weed makes them tough. You know, especially these young kids. They're only 18, 19. Just because you smoke weed, sell it, all that shit fake. You're doing it now because you see it on TV. You know, back in the day, you might have did it to survive. But now you can just get a fucking job, nigga. You you, you better off. You're going to make more money. That's why you're riding around in ragged-ass fucking cars. You better off just going to school, learning a fucking trade, being a fucking plumber. Than trying to sell weed because you ain't gonna make that much money. You barely gonna cover four, three, two hundred dollars a week after you know you re up and all this and that. You would have made more money, way more money, getting a fucking job. And you know, your own little habits, you gotta cover all that shit, your own habits, you know, whatever you're doing. So by the end of the week, you done sold weed all week, you probably barely made 200 profit. That you can keep and put in your pocket. So really you're doing it for the mystique. To say, you, oh, I'm a drug dealer. I sell weed. That's what you're doing it for. Lame as fuck. You ain't, all that shit dead. That shit been dead, nigga. That's why in no, no, you really don't see no big time drug dealers no more. You don't see none of that shit. All that shit is fake. They just doing that shit. The fucking Democrats doing that shit. Keep y'all dumb niggas down. So they can keep their money. Them corrupt motherfuckers that run our cities. You know, they need stupid people to keep voting for them instead of looking around. Look, these motherfuckers ain't did shit for us. Then, oh, well, but it's the white folks. It's the Republicans. Da, 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 da. Ain't nobody on their side, but it's like they're, they weren't in charge of us. They left. You know, not in charge, but they didn't have the duty of taking care of our cities. You did. So what the fuck did you do with the money? You got these dumbass niggas running around thinking that shit cool and that's how black people act, little, little stupid ass niggas. It don't matter if he light skin or dark skin, both of them the same. Like I said, the little sawed off nigga, he's dark skin, it don't matter. The other little bitch ass nigga I just was talking to at the gas station, he light skin, it don't matter. They still the same, bitch ass niggas. It don't go about this color. That's the problem. You got y'all. I can't believe. I, it did seem like it. You know, it's just natural. You, yeah. As little boys and men growing up to be big, you would, you would, you would know what they was teaching you or trying to get y'all to do was bullshit. So how do they get y'all to fall for that shit? I don't get it. You should have rebelled against it. What did they do? You know that why they put a certain. You know this shit where. And there's some reason they like it, but they, they oh, because uh, the ones they put in them positions listen to them, but instead, they don't like people like us who trying to get everybody to be independent, you know, self-sufficient. They trying to promote this shit where you need, you know, somebody to, to, to hook you up, somebody to do this to you, for you, and you know, yeah. We needed people to hook us up. There's times I need, but not with money. You know, the only time, and I still remember, and, you know, I think it was fucked up what you did, but, you know, you know somebody at a position and, and at a good job. That's the type of hookup I would have, hey, just to interview anything, yeah, to get me in the door. No, y'all want free money. That's the, you know, y'all teaching these little kids, you know, for free money. You know, the shit I, I still think about sometimes, all the times, you know, somebody worked at the steel mill, U.S. Steel, you know, this and that, at the pipe plant. Can't get us, the, but the, see, all the jobs went away anyway. They got rid of the jobs in 2000. All them plants closed down. They trying, they supposed to bring them, they need to bring them back. That's what they need to do. But I remember, you know, it was, I, 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 and the niggas I knew that I went to school with, now I'm back at the army, whatever. Yeah, you got experience. How the fuck I got experience, nigga? I knew you before. You know where I've been for the last six, seven, you know, six, and that's seven, six years. How the fuck I got experience in a goddamn steel mill? You know, that, that's what type of, I'm talking about hooking up, hook it up, but instead, you know. I ain't never seen nobody, uh, when they doing rugs, they look like that apartment's empty and they're contractors. But I guess they're going to throw it over the edge. You know, I don't see why, because that's unprofessional. Because, first of all, you might fuck up the bushes. 
instead of just doing it the right way and just carry it down the steps you know but since hey, I'm, i got i caught some contractors on, on tape gang stalking because seriously they wouldn't do that they boss ain't gonna let them do that if the rug is up say apartment's empty they finna change the rug well if you see that's what i'm saying i gotta improvise because they did this shit because i'm out here so uh you know gang stalkers instead of just going in and bring the rug down like they're supposed to. I think they're finna try to throw it over the fucking balcony. I ain't never seen that before. They always bring it down the steps. Even at other apartments. They never. You know. they Oh that's working. Either way it's working double. Yeah, according to y'all gang stalkers. All the last gang stalkers in the last two years. I work with on physical jobs. You don't like doing. That's y'all main pet peeve. Doing double work. Gang stalkers hate doing double work. Remember y'all, you know, trying to gang stalk me and try to show me who's smarter. You know, you don't like taking extra steps. So why, if y'all, why are y'all cleaning out the rugs? You know, you pull up the rug. Why would you bring it out here? Put it out here. You know, they can't. Did you see if you saw? You came out. Watch the big. What? Rewind this tape. They came out. Put it out here to get it out the way. Why not just in one swoop? The carpet's already rolled up. Bring it downstairs and put it in the van never seen that before y'all y'all stupid as fuck what is that? so i guess that is because you know i'm out here on the balcony this <laughs> is stupid you, with gang stalking it just makes you do stupid shit i'm sorry you have to you know i started this i did start this i told you that's specifically why i started coming out here on the balcony two years ago I, has it been two years i've been making these videos i think it has on this particular balcony but that's why I came out here. I wanted them to hear me. Because I knew, like, if I just, you know, set up a little room, so a camera in the room and made videos, yeah, I knew they would gang stalk me for the things I said on my video. You know, I would, it, would, it would be people out here. That's the whole purpose. Of watch other people's video testimony about being a TI, you know. That's the whole thing. That's how you, that's the program. That's how, it, the street theater. They say stuff like if you're on the phone or nowadays they were black folks niggas me being black too you know i wasn't supposed to have all the stuff i have for some reason you know that's why they want socialism because i was able to buy all it but you work and think and do things you know legal just oh okay i can do this i can do that to get oh okay oh you know you talk to the people oh, yeah we got this kind of deal going on but to them you know they too stupid because they somebody put it in their head they got to be able to buy straight up cash and then i ended up paying it off in a couple of months and yeah you might have hustled or robbed somebody or whatever and you bought the cash and you feel like a man but i just did the same thing i feel much better than sleep at night and i just paid it off in a couple of months because you know you read the fine oh how much interest oh, okay so it's 120 dollars if i pay it if i pay cash today but you know with interest over six months is 200 and i could deal i could live with that fuck it i want it right now i don't care if it's too much interest i don't care I blah 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 i want it i work for it it's my business the fuck you know what i'm saying now if you you know like i said if i did that made that deal and i gotta come to you hey man yeah i need 30 dollars this week for gas well what happened well i bought this thing right here and i'm making payments then then yeah you could say man you should have hey that's not my problem you did that but if everything's fine, you can't get mad with your gang stalking program and getting mad because, oh, well, now nah, I done masked a lot of, uh, you know, whatever shit that I want. It doesn't matter if I need it. I paid for it. I don't have to come to you for help paying for it. It's none of your fucking business. See, so starting to see what I'm talking about. They, they, yeah, they fucked y'all stupid asses up. They fucked y'all heads up, you stupid bitch. Like I said, this, all you got to do is be smart. Oh, okay, well, I bring home, even if you don't bring home that much. But it's your business what you do with your your fucking money. And if you want money, like I said, I gladly, a lot of people gladly tell you more ways to get ahead at that job or get another job or what you, you know what I'm saying? Get, not, not, not these motherfuckers trying to hold you back. Got you up here, you know, running around like fucking idiots trying to hold other people back.
<laughs> just the dumbest niggas in history. I'm glad I'm recording y'all, cause uh, our offspring do not need to fucking follow in y'all footsteps. You know, like the dumbest motherfuckers in history. Seriously, like this nigga getting out. This dumb as fuck. Our ancestors, uh, the our offspring do not need to follow in y'all, cause people is over with. It's over with. Nobody's gonna let them do the stupid shit y'all niggas got away with. You're not gonna, you know, they definitely not gonna, because all the people who did that shit are gone now. And like I said, they're all telling them, they're all changing. It. So your offspring, your children, grandchildren, ain't gonna be able to do the dumb shit you did. Try to tell you.